that gender equality and the empowerment of women is very, very high on our current agenda. Now, I sadly have to refer to our opening ceremony panel on the first day of council, which sadly did not reflect that. Now, <laughs> we tried very hard to try and provide a gender balance on the opening ceremony, and we didn't achieve that, but we went all out to ensure that this gender panel is representative of the theme of the panel session. As you can see, it is dominated by some fabulous, beautiful women. We think it's very important for the council to mobilize resources to review how the gender guidelines can be fully integrated and provided with specific guidance for the implementation of the sustainable development goal, goal number five on gender equality. And of course, as we said previously, and the various United Nations guidelines and mechanisms on women empowerment on forestry related sectors to mobilize resources to develop guidance, materials, and awareness tools for all stakeholders to use the guidelines as a fundamental priority towards ensuring the success of the implementation of the ITTO guidance or uh, sustainable forest management and uh, for, uh, forest landscape restoration. Je profite de l'occasion pour féliciter les organisateurs pour cette initiative qui met en lumière le rôle et l'importance des femmes dans la foresterie. À travers l'OIBT, je voudrais saisir l'occasion pour remercier les gouvernements des États-Unis d'Amérique et du Japon pour le financement du projet PD 725-13-REV.2F qui a contribué à l'encadrement des femmes et à leur autonomisation en leur permettant de réaliser elles-mêmes les activités de réhabilitation progressive de la forêt classée d'Aouya en Côte d'Ivoire. Some of the main problems in rural coastal areas are the lack of employment, the difficulties in agriculture and the risks from climate change. Conservation in rural areas has to be linked to productive, sustainable projects. The economy of most families is linked to the use of natural resources, but income is barely enough to make a living. In this scenario, women are especially vulnerable. Women take care of children, grandchildren, sick and old people in the family, keep the house, cook, clean, and sometimes also contribute with part of the income. Many of them are family chiefs due to the high level of migration of men to the United States. Il reste des étapes de à franchir. Il y a toujours les, les plafonds en verre, glass ceilings, mais cela devient quand même plus facile, parce qu'il y en a quelques-uns qui l'ont fait et d'autres peuvent se référer à cela. Certains métiers sont difficiles à exécuter pour des femmes, mais pas impossibles. Il y a des femmes que je vois en Europe qui sont chauffeurs de camions, mais je n'en vois pas en Afrique. Mais en Europe, il y en a. L'environnement en forêt n'est pas toujours favorable. Ça, il faut qu'on se le dise. Et la transformation poussée aujourd'hui, les produits finis, devrait ouvrir justement plus de possibilités d'emploi pour les femmes dans les pays africains. Quand on veut aller dans des produits finis, il y a l'aspect du goût, de la couleur, de la décoration. Et là, les femmes sont souvent très, très fortes. Donc, il faudra qu'on puisse les aider justement à y arriver. Um, I think it's important for ITGO to build partnerships with entities like the Forest and Farm Facility, which provide platforms for um, a voice into land, and land management planning decisions and to ensure that women representation is part of that. Um, as was pointed out by several of the women in their presentations, so much of what women do with forests tend to be outside the formal sector, and that then limits their ability to microloans to help their businesses grow. So I think it's important for IGTO to maybe look at that aspect of um, micro uh, enterprises and to probably try to facilitate more projects in this area. In conclusion, I'm glad to see this gender panel convened, and I'm happy to be part of it. I 
believe it is a first step in a good direction to ensure that ITTO as an organization exemplifies the gender principles it hopes to espouse in its projects. Thank you. Finally, just before we close, may I call upon all ITTO female support staff to please come on the podium and let's stand together with the speakers on the front of the room just to formally close the session. But I have one more.